Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you the actual egg experiment of osmosis. In my previous video, I have already explained about the egg experiment of osmosis theoretically. So in this video, we will do the actual egg experiment and we will understand everything about osmosis as well. So let's start. All the apparatus and the chemicals required for this experiment are over here. The main component of this experiment are these two eggs. We need to be very much careful while selecting the eggs. Their size must be comparable because we need to compare their size in the end. I have this salt to make the salt solution. I have this distilled water over here and here this is concentrated HCl. For this experiment we will need dilute HCl so we will make it dilute okay after the, during the reaction so see first of all we need to understand about the egg egg is made up of different layer you can see over here this brown part is called the egg seal this is the hard part of egg that protects anything from entering it and this you can consider at is it as a non permeable membrane because nothing can pass through it and inside it there is a thin white semi permeable membrane okay membrane of the egg that acts as semi permeable membrane that allows only the solvent molecules to pass through it and not the solute molecules and inside of that finally the gold is over there right that is the egg material egg material is used like we eat egg material by making omelette or by boiling it as well so see first of all we need to remove this egg cell from the egg now if we if i just hit it over here then what will happen all the egg cell uh, like will get burst and I'll make a mess over here and believe me I don't like cleaning so see uh, that's where the chemistry comes here I have this HCl dilute HCl can actually remove this egg cell you know why uh, the egg cell is made up of calcium carbonate calcium carbonate reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid and it forms calcium chloride that is CaCl2 water that is H2O and carbon dioxide that is CO2 so we can simply dissolve this egg cell by reacting it with dilute HCl. So let's do that. In first step, we need to remove their egg cell. So for that, let me put water in both of them first. Yes. Okay. I put water in the first beaker. Similarly, I put water in the second beaker. Now, to make it dilute, we can pour some dilute hydro, uh, sorry, conch hydrochloric acid in it. So, let's do it. If you want to do the experiment, do it in supervision of teacher only, okay? You can see the fume coming out of here. Okay, so I will keep it over here. Now, next step is to keep these eggs into these two solutions, okay? So, let me do it. And you have to be very much careful while putting the egg as well because now there is the uh, acid as well. So let me keep it over here. So as you can see over here, the reaction has already started in both the eggs. You can see the egg cell is reacting with the dilute hydrochloric acid. You can see the bubbles being formed. You know the meaning of bubble? That is carbon dioxide is being formed. This reaction takes some hours to be completed. Okay, this egg cell will take some hours to completely get dissolved. As you can see, the egg is react, egg cell is reacting with the uh, acid and it is getting dissolved. We will see after some time whether it gets dissolved or not and uh, how much time it takes to get dissolved. So let them get dissolved properly.
24 hours later so 24 hour has already passed we can see over here yesterday we kept this egg into this solution and we can see over here the reaction has stopped completely and the egg cell is completely dissolved in the solution now the next step is we are going to take these eggs out and we are going to wash them properly now we have to be very much careful while taking these eggs out because there is no cell to protect the egg now there is only the semi permeable membrane and the egg material so i have this spoon always use this spoon because there is the acid right here i have this bucket in which i have kept water what i will do is i will take the eggs uh, out with the spoon and i will keep it over here then only i will touch here i am wearing gloves because i am going to touch the egg only by this hand first okay so let's try to take them out okay first of all this egg we have to be very much careful while taking the eggs out okay because a small mistake and the eggs might burst so let me keep it in this bucket water okay see the first step is done for first egg now for another egg also we'll do the same thing be very much careful okay okay so see the egg is out and i'm going to put it in the water yes these are the acids so don't try to touch them with your hand okay and if you want to do this experiment never do it alone do it under the supervision of teacher only let me keep them over there now we have to wash those beakers because we will do the further experiment in them now let me just rotate them so that the acid part will get removed now we will wash them properly with this water okay add this water to wash them let me touch it with my hand now we can touch it with our hand okay be very much careful because there is no egg cell to protect it now the excel is com not completely removed but that doesn't matter osmosis will happen from the rest of the part wash it properly you can see it spongy now right it looks so beautiful i wish i could let you touch it okay so here i have washed it properly now let me keep it on a filter paper yes done now for another egg as, for another egg as well We'll do the same thing we'll wash it properly don't apply too much pressure on the egg okay because it will get burst and the whole experiment will be ruined and this process does not take two to three hour only okay in my theoretical video also i told only two to three hour but no it doesn't take two to three hours it took us exactly 24 hours for this experiment to complete we are here back after 24 hours and doing this experiment let me keep it over here on another filter paper like this there is no egg cell now that is completely semi permeable membrane let me keep this egg on it okay now let me take this blobs off because we won't need this blobs anymore okay so our first step reaction is completed in the first step, we had to remove the egg cell from the egg by dissolving it in dilute HCl. Dilute HCl reacts with the egg cell. Egg cell is made up of calcium carbonate and when egg cell reacts with dilute HCl, then uh, it forms carbon dioxide, water and calcium chloride. And as a result of that, the egg cell completely gets dissolved. You can see egg cell is dissolved over here. We have thrown the waste part already, so uh, you can see over here. Now, in the next step, I'm going to prepare a solution, salt water solution, and we have this distilled water over here. Then we will do the further experiment of osmosis. Now, as the egg cell is completely removed, we can uh, move to the next experiment, that is to show the osmosis phenomenon. For that, I have already cleaned these two beakers. Now, I'm going to put distilled water in them. Let me pour some distilled water in them. Okay. 250 ml is enough I think yes now in one of the beaker I am going to put some salt I am going to make the salt solution and another beaker I am not going to put anything because we need a salt solution and we need a beaker as you can see over here the size of this egg is similar right still the size of these two egg are similar now what we will do I will put one egg in this solution 
salt solution and another egg in distilled water. First of all, let me make the salt solution. I have this salt over here. Let me dissolve salt in it. We need to make salt solution. We can also use sugar solution in this case, but as salt is cheaper, so I suggest you, you can use salt in it, okay? Okay, let me put all the salt I have because I can't use the salt now. Okay, so we have this salt solution over here. Okay, our salt solution is ready. Now what we will do, we will keep one egg in this distilled water, another egg in this salt solution and let's see what happens. It will also take a lot of time. So let me keep it and then I will directly show you what is the result. So this is the egg with the semi permeable membrane over it and egg shell is completely removed. You can see over here, this is now bouncy. This is now a bouncy egg, okay. So let me keep it over here. You have to be very much careful while keeping it over here, okay, because there is no egg shell, so it can burst easily. Let me keep another egg in it as well. Be very much careful while putting it. Now you can touch the liquid because there is no acid in it. This is just uh, salt water solution. This is distilled water. Now as we have kept it over here, you can see over here, this egg is completely sinked. This is water because of density and this egg is floating, right? Because of the density of water is completely increased. So see, you can see over here, the reaction is already, I can see small bubbles over here. Maybe it's, it's some reaction or something is happening over there. Now the osmosis phenomenon has already started. This semi-permeable membrane will allow only the solvent molecules to pass through it, not the solute molecules. So let's see what happens. I'll return once the reaction is completed. 24 hours later. So we are back here after 24 hours again. You can see over here, there are two beakers in which we keep the eggs without the seal. You can see over here, this one is the salt water solution and here it is, this is the distilled water. We keep uh, one egg in each of them and let's compare their size now, okay? Because we are trying to prove the osmosis. So let me take the eggs out. We have to be very much careful, okay? We have to be very much careful while taking the eggs out because a small mistake can can be very harmful for our experiment. Okay, so I have taken this egg out, that is the distilled water egg and this one is the egg kept in salt water solution. So let me keep it over here like this. Okay, so now you can see over here the size of these two eggs are changed now. If we compare it, the size of this egg is more than this. And I can feel over here, the weight of this egg is more than this egg as well. You can see the size. Now this is little bit thicker than this one. The diameter of this egg is more than this one. So this happens in osmosis, okay? Because look at here, osmosis is the phenomenon in which the solvent molecule passes from lower concentration region to higher concentration region. So what happens if we keep it in a di sorry, distilled water, then what happens? The concentration of distilled water is less than the egg material inside it. So water will enter from this distilled water to over here. Now, if we see another case, this, is, this was the egg kept in salt water solution. And in salt water solution, as there is salt, so concentration of salt will be increased. So the concentration of the solvent is less over there than the egg material. And if we keep it over here, the solvent molecules, that is the water molecules from inside the egg will come out as the result of osmosis. That happens in osmosis, right? That's why this shrinks. You can see over here, I can press it easily because the water molecules has already come out. I can press it easily. You can see where this is now a very spongy egg now. I can press it so easily, right? You can see over here. And for this egg, if I try to push it, I can't. This is now a very hard egg because of the water molecules. There are a lot of water. There is a lot of water molecules in this egg right now. That's why I can't press it properly. And I can easily press it. And this is now spongy one, okay? So this happens in osmosis. Now, if we do one thing, if I take this egg that I kept earlier in salt water solution in distilled water and this egg in salt water solution, then can you guess what will happen? Okay, you guess 
and you write in the comment section what will exactly happen. I am giving that question to you. Now, uh, that is osmosis phenomenon. So, in this video, we proved osmosis phenomenon by this egg experiment. I used two eggs and we saw in the last the size of the eggs differ. To remove the egg seal, we have to keep the egg in dilute HCl where it reacts with the egg seal that is the calcium carbonate to form calcium chloride, water and carbon dioxide. So this is all about the experiment. At last, I would like to thank Greenland International College Biratnagar and Mahindra Morang others a multiple campus Biratnagar for providing me this lab and the chemicals required for the experiment. Thank you so much. And that's all in this video. If you like the video, please share this video as much as you can. And thank you for watching the video. <laughs>